Namaste friends. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, in today's video, we are going to make this beautiful hoop chumka. And here I'm showing you this hoop chumka in the contrast of green and amethyst. And I have made some more colorways in this hoop chumka. This one I have made in green and maroon color. The other one is in peridot green color. This is in single color. So here I have shown you three colorways of hoop chumka and in today's video we are going to make this hoop chumka in this beautiful fuchsia color. So let us see what all material do we need to make this beautiful hoop chumka. Friends, for making our hoop chumka earring in fuchsia color, we would need these 4 mm bikins. Here I'm using these bikins in fuchsia color. Then I would be using these 2 by 3 mm rondales in opaque pink color. Here I'm using these hydrospherical beads in fuchsia color and these are in size 3 mm in place of these beads you can also use fire polish beads or 3 mm pearls here i'm using these 11 o's in two colors this one is muki duracoat silver line fuchsia 11 o and these are muki duracoat galvanized silver 11 o's and I would be using 15 O's in single color. This is Muki Duracoat Galvanized Silver 15 O's. Here I would be using these palettes. These are in rose AB color and it is in size 6 by 12 mm. And here, as always, I would be using these ear post finding of size 6 by 12 mm. I would be working with Muki thread and size 12 beading needle. So let's get started. Friends, this hoop chumka consists of three parts. First one is the ear post. Here I'm using my tiny pearl stud as the ear post for this hoop chumka. You can check my tutorial on this tiny pearl stud. I will share the link in the description box and also the eye box on the top of the video. You can check it out there. And then the second part is this hoop, which we are going to make in the video. And third part is this chumka. So here we are going to make the three parts first and then we are going to make our chumka. So let us begin by making this ear post stud. We would start making our ear post stud, which is our tiny pearl stud earring by picking up these four 3 mm beads. These are hydrospherical beads that I'm using. You can also use 3mm pearls or 3mm fire polish beads. And now I'm bringing them down towards the end of my thread and tie a double knot like this. And now I will pass through all these four beads and bringing this tail in between the beads. Like this. And into the first one. Now I'm going to pick up one fifteen o silver, one eleven o fuchsia, and one fifteen o silver. So here I have picked up these three beads: one fifteen o silver, one eleven o fuchsia, and one fifteen o silver. And I'm passing through the same bead through which I'm exiting right now. into the 15 o and into the 11 o 
again picking up 150 no silver and passing through the bead which is opposite to the one to which I added these beads again picking up 150 no silver and into the 11 fuchsia here I am making this quite quickly if you want a detailed video on this ear post stud please check out my video on tiny pearl stud and into the 3mm bead down here now pick up one 11 silver and into the 3mm bead again picking up one 11 and passing through the 3mm bead like this into the 11 o stepping up into this 11 o and now i'm picking up 215 o silver 111 o fuchsia and 215 o silver so here i have picked up the five beads and i'm going to pass through the next 11 o silver and I'm going to add the set of these five beads all through this round. Now here I have added all my five sets. And right now I'm exiting through this 11 of silver. Now stepping up into the first 15 of silver. Skipping this 11 of fuchsia. And I'm passing through the next 15 of silver, 11 of silver and 15 of silver. Putting this out like this again skipping this 11 o and passing through the rest of the five beads like this pulling this out like this and now into the 15 o's and into the 11 o's like this and now i'm going to add the ear post finding at the back but before this i'm going to cut this tail off And right now I'm exiting through the 11 o silver. I'm going to pick up five 15 o silver and pass through this next 11 o silver. And I would be adding the set of these five 15 o silver all through this round. Now, here I have added all my sets of these five 15 o's and now you can see right now i'm exiting through this 11 o silver and now i'm stepping up into the first three 15 o's of the first set thus exiting from the middle 15 o that is the third 15 o and now pick up three 15 o silver and pass through the middle 15 o that is the third 15 o of the next set and again, I'm going to pick up three 15 of silver and pass through the middle 15 of silver of the next set. And this way, I'm going to add the set of these three 15 of all through this round. Now, here we have created a net for our ear post. Now, here you can see that I have added all my sets of three 15 of and right now i'm exiting through this 15 the middle one of the previous sets and now i'm going to place my ear post into the net and pull the thread and now i will step up into the first two 15 and thus exiting through the middle 15 of the first set 
again into the middle 15 ohm of the second set into the middle 15 ohm of the third set And into the middle 15 of the fourth set. Like this. And now into the middle 15 of the first set. So here, this way, I have brought all the four middle 15 in the center. And now I would be passing through all these four 15 twice to fix my ear post. Like this. Once again, I would be passing through all these four fifteen holes. That I have brought in the middle. And this way we would be fixing our ear post. Like this. And now I'm going down through this 15 -0. And this one, these two 15 o's. And here, I'm tying a knot. in between the 15 holes and I would be passing through these two 15 holes and into these two 15 holes and now I'm going to cut my thread off So here we have completed our ear post for our hoop jumka. And now we are going to make our second component that is the hoop. Now friends, for making our hoop jumka, we are going to pick up 36 11 O's in fuchsia color. And here I have picked up 36 11 O's. Let us count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34 and 36. So here I have 36 11 O's and now we are going to bring these down towards the end of our thread. And now I'm tying a double knot to make a ring here. Like this. So this is our ring. And now we are going to pass through all these 11 O's and just pull in this tail in between the 11 O's. Like this.
and now we are going to do the pure testage and this is our first round of pure testage that is the make that is making the ring and now we are going to make do the second round of beauty so for this i have picked up one 11 o fuchsia and you can see right now i'm exiting through this 11 o i would skip this one and pass through the next one like this again picking up one 11 o fuchsia i'm going to skip the second bead and pass through the third one like this Again, picking up one 11 of Yushia. I'm going to skip this one, the second one, and pass through the third one. So here you can see the 11 O's that I just added are sitting on the ones that I skipped in between. And we would be doing this all through this round. Now here I'm adding my last 11 O. But before adding my last 11 O, I had cut the tail off and now i'm adding my last 11 of this round and this is the look and now i'm stepping up into the first 11 that i added so after completing the second round of beauty this is the look and now we are going to do the third round of beauty but here we are going to add 11 silver so here i have picked up one 11 silver and I would pass through this next 11 fuchsia. Again, picking up an 11 silver. I'm passing through this next 11 fuchsia. Again, picking up one 11 silver. I'm passing through this next 11 fuchsia. Here, I'm not skipping any bead. I'm just adding 11 silver in between these 11 fuchsia. And I would be doing this all through this round. Now, here I'm adding my last 11 of silver and i'm passing through this 11 of fuchsia and after adding this last 11 of, i'm going to pull my thread tight and here you can see that we are getting this ring and right now i'm exiting through this 11 of fuchsia and now we have to add these 11 o silver on the opposite side of this ring. Here we added here and now we would be adding on the other side. So right now I'm exiting through this 11 o fuchsia. Now I'm going toward the other side passing through the bead just below this one. And now I'm going to add the 11 o's. On the other side like this again picking up one 11 of silver like this again picking up one 11 of silver and passing through this next 11 of Russia again picking up one 11 of silver and here I'm passing through this 11 of Yushia. So this way, we are going to add the 11 of silver on this side, on the opposite side of this ring. Now here I'm adding my last 11 of silver. And this is the look of our ring from both the sides. And now, here I'm stepping up into the 11 of silver. And now I'm going to pick up my round tails and pass through this next 11 of silver. Again, picking up my 2 by 3 mm mean round tail. I'm passing through the 11 of silver and again picking up. The round tail, I'm passing through the 11 of silver, and in this round, I'm going to add these round tails all through this round. And here, I'm adding my last round tail, and this is the look. So 
so this is the look after adding the round tail and right now i'm exiting through this leveno silver and i'm going down into the eleveno fuchsia and into this eleveno silver below it and here i have reached the other side and now here again i'm going to add these round tails so for this i have picked up my round tail and i'm passing through the eleven of silver again picking up round tail and passing through the eleven of silver again picking up the round tail and passing through the eleven of silver and i'm going to add these round tails all through this round now friends here i am adding my last round tail of this side And after adding the rondelles, this is the look from here and from the back side. And now I'm stepping up into the first rondelle that I added on this side. And now after stepping up into this first rondelle, I'm picking up one 4 mm icon. And I will pass through. The next round tail like this. Very carefully, we have to add the pythons. Now, I will pick up another python and pass through the next round tail. this again pick up another 4 mm icon and pass through this next round tail again pick up the icon and pass through the round tail very carefully we have to add the pikers because if they keep on falling from here to the other side we won't be able to attach it with the rondelles on the other side so very carefully placing the pikers between these rondelles we have to add these all through this round now i'm adding my last icon And after adding the icons, this is the look. And now I'm stepping up into the first icon that I added in this round. Now, after passing through this first icon, we have to pass through the round tail on the other side. Here you can see right now I'm exiting through this icon and now I will pass through this round tail very carefully. Again, passing through the icon. Into the next round tail. Get into the bicycle to see the thread, which is the entry point of the bicycle from this side, and then pass through it and into the bicycle. After passing through the bicycle, into the round tail. like this. Again, 
Okay, to the Titan. To the Yontin, just make it straight. Then into the Python and into the Ranti. Very carefully, we have to complete this round because this is the only difficult round. And uh, if we just pull our thread very harshly or very strongly, it will get cut off due to the sharp edges of the round tails and a little bit of pikens. So very gently, we have to pass through the pikens and the round tails. And don't pull your thread too hard from here. Just go to the pikin very gently. Just straighten up the pikins with the help of the needle. Now here into the pikin. And into the round tail. Friends, when you are adding the bicons to the other side of the round tails, they won't fall in a straight line. They will bend a little like this, as you can see all these bicons. But make sure they bend in the same side, in the same direction, as you can see here. My bikins are bent a little, a, a slightly bent, bent toward the right. So I will make sure all my bikins are slightly bent toward the right side. We are trying to make them straight, but they won't get straight. So in this round, but as we are, as we would proceed further, they will get straightened up. But in this round, we are going to bend toward one side so please make sure that they bend toward the same side all the bikins like this into the biker into the round tail Again into the bikin. And into the round tail. Get into the bikin. So this way we are going to complete this row. And now after passing through this last bicon, I'm stepping up into the first bicon. So here, this is the look after completing this, this round. And you can see all the bicons are slightly bent toward the right. All my bicons. And now, here after completing this round, 
you can see I'm exiting through this icon. Just now, we added the round tails on this side to the icons. And now, after stepping up into this first icon, we are going to pass through the icons on the right side. So, like this, gain into the icon and into the round tail, into the icon and into the round tail, into the icon. And into the round tail. These are the round tails to which we added the icons at first, and then we added the icons to this side, and then again we are going through the same side that is the first side just to reinforce and get our icons in shape. Just for this purpose, we are going to pass through all these icons and the round tails on right side now after completing this round this is the look and you can see we have got our icons in shape and they're round and they're circle in shape and now here right now i'm exiting through this round tail and now i'm going to pick up 150 no silver and i will pass through this next round tail Again, I'm picking up 150 no silver and I will pass through the next round tail. Again, picking up 150 no silver and pass through the next round tail. Again, 150 no silver and into the round tail. And this way, we are going to add these 15 or silver in between the round tails all through this round. And now here I am adding my last 15 or silver. And I will pass through this round tail. And after adding these 15 or silver, this is the look. And now I will move up into the piken. And into the round tail on the other side. Like this. And now we are going to add 15 O's on other side. So for this, again, I'm picking a 115 O silver. And right now I will be passing through this next round tail. Like this. Again, picking a 115 O silver. And passing through the next round tail like this and this way i'm going to add these 15 or silver on the other side and come back and now here i'm adding my last 15 or silver like this and you can see the look this is the look from this side and from the back side after adding the 15 or silver and now After adding my last 15 of silver, you can see right now I'm exiting through this 2 by 3 mm round tail. And now I'm stepping up into the icon like this. And now pick up 3 15 of silver. And I'm going back into this 15 of silver in front of the icon like this into the round tail like this now pick up 315 or silver and move up into this icon in front of the round tail and now i will move up into the next bike and now pick up 315 or silver and pass through 
this 15 of silver that we added in front of this icon into the rondelle. like this and now step up into the three 15 nose into the bicon like this and into the next bicon Again, picking up 315 or silver, move back into this 15 or into the in front of the pike, into the round tail, like this, Very carefully into the round tail. Up into the set of 350 nose that we added previously and into the bike. Now stepping into the next bike. Again picking up three. 15 or silver back into this bike this 15 or silver back into the round tail next to it very carefully into the round tail Up into the set of three fifty nose into the pikeen and step into the next pikeen like this. So this way we are going to add these sets of. 15 nose, picking up 15 nose, back into the 15 nose, then into the round tail, into the set of 350 nose into the bicon and step into the next bicon so this way we are going to add these 15 nose all through this round now friends before completing this round i am just about to finish my thread so i'm going to tie a knot and and another thread so here you can see right now i'm exiting through this round tail and now i will move up into these 350 nodes and i'm tying a knot in between these 15 nodes and the bicon at the back here i have found the thread and now here I have tied the knot and I'm just going back into these 15 nodes and 
like this and now I can cut my thread off and now I'm going to add another thread and now I'm adding my thread so here I'm passing through these 350 nodes at the back here and now I'll be tying a knot in between these 50 nodes and the piken like this and move up into the piken into the piken and into the next piken to which I am going to add these 50 nodes but before this I'm cutting off this thread this tail and now again I'm going to pick up 350 no silver and going back into the 50 no as we did in the rest of the round into the bike and sorry into this round tail into the set of these three 50 nos and into the bikin and into the next bikin so here i'm going to complete this round and come back and now this is the last set of 50 nos that i have added on this side and now i'm going back into the round tail like this and up into the 350 nos like this and into the bike so friend this is the look from this side and now we are going to add the 50 nos on the other side so here you can see right now i'm exiting through the bike same way we are going to add 50 nos on the other side so for this i'm picking up these 350 nos and i would go back into this 15 no in front of the bike we have to go in the same direction as we have done on this side you can see we are going in the same direction and into the bike sorry into the round tail and into before Going into the bike and I'm going to pick up 315 nose and here like this and now into the next bike and now Picking up three 15 no silver and going back into the 15 no. Friends, I apologize for this noise at the background because of the construction work going on near my house. So I'm sorry. And now into the round tail. into the 350 nose and into the bike and just push away these 15 nose so here into the bike and And into the next bike. So this way we are going to add 15 nos on this side and come back. Friends here, 
I have not yet completed my round here, but before this, I'm going to show you. You can see we are our bicons have started getting straightened up in this in a line. You can see this now. They have started taking up the shape after the completion of this round. And as soon as I'm going to complete this round, they all will take up their shape. So and they would look like this at the end of the completion of this round. So friends, here I have completed this round. And after completing this, right now I'm exiting through this icon. And you can see the look from both the sides and how beautiful this hoop looks like. And here we are not going to cut this thread off because we are going to attach our ear post and the chumka to this hoop so here we have completed two components the ear post and the hoop and now we are going to make our chumka now friends for making our chumka we have taken another thread and now i have picked up four eleven of fuchsia silver line and now i'm bringing them down towards the end of my thread like this and now here I'm going to tie a double knot like this. And I'm going to pass through all these four 11 O's, pulling in this tail in between these 11 O's like this. And now into the first 11 o like this. And now I'm going to pick up 115 o silver and pass through this next 11 o. Again, I'm picking up 115 o silver and I'm passing through this next 11 o. Again, picking up 115 o silver. And I'm passing to the next 11 o. And again, picking a 115 o silver. This is the last one. And I'm passing through the first 11 o. And here, after completing this round, this is the look. And now I'm stepping up into this first 15 o silver that I added in this round now again i'm going to pick up four 11 o fuchsia silver line and i'm passing through this 15 o silver like this stepping up into the first 11 o fuchsia picking up one 15 o silver and passing through this next 11 o we have to keep our thread nice and tight here again picking up 115 o silver passing through this next 11 o and again picking up 115 o silver passing through this next 11 o and here we have reached the beginning here this is the 15 o to which we attach these 11 o's and now I'm going to skip this 15 o and pass through the 11 o directly like this. And this way you can see we have created the corner with this 15 o in both the components. And now stepping up into the 15 o, 11 o and the 15 o. On this side. Now again, I'm picking up four 11 o silver, sorry, 11 o fuchsia silver line, and I'm passing through this 15 o silver. Keep your thread nice and tight here. Stepping up into the 11 o fuchsia. Pick up 
115 ohm silver pass through this next 11 ohm like this again pick up 115 ohm silver pass through this next 11 ohm like this again pick up 115 ohm silver and pass through the next 11 ohm and now we have to skip this 15 ohm and pass through the 11 ohm like this and this is the look now stepping up into these three beads like this again we are going to pick up four 11 os fuchsia line fuchsia silver line and now into Stepping up into the first 11 o, picking up 115 o silver into the next 11 o. We are going to add 315 o's in all these rounds except for the first one. Now, this is the second 15 o silver, picking up 115 o silver. And this is the third one. So after adding these third 15 of silver for fourth one, which is already here, you're going to skip this and pass through the 11 oh, like this. We have skipped the 15 oh. We can see this. We can we have skipped the 15 oh, and here we created the corner like this and up into the three seed beads. So here we are going to create the chain with these components and we are going to have nine component chain. So here we have made one, two, three, four components. We are going to make five more and come back. Now here I have completed my chain with nine components. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now I'm going to join the two ends of the components the last the first and the last one this is my first component and this is my last component that is the ninth one and the one which is joining the two ends would be our tenth component so in all we are going to have 10 components in our ring or chumka so here you can see right now i'm exiting through this 15 o silver and now i'm going to pick up two 11 o fuchsia and pass through this 15 o at the other end again picking up two 11 o fuchsia and pass through the 15 o the first one like this now stepping up into the first 11 o now pick up one 15 o and pass through this next 11 o and now Here, we are creating this component. So here, after adding this 15 o, I have passed through this 11 o, and now I'm going to skip this 15 o and pass through the 11 o like this, like this. Keep it tight. And now picking up one 15 o silver, passing through this next 11 o. Like this. Again, I'm going to skip this 15 o and pass through this next 11 o. Okay, again, we have to keep our thread nice and tight. So, and into this 15 o silver. So, here you can see this is our ring for chumka. And now we are going to cut this thread off. Here we are going to cut this tail off. And now you can see right now I'm exiting through this 15 o. Just holding this ring 
my finger and now after exiting through this 15 of silver i have picked up one 4 mm bike and and now i will pass through this next 15 of silver again i'm picking up one 4 mm bike and and pass through this next 15 of silver And again, picking up one four mm bike in and pass through this next fifteen of silver. So this way, I'm going to add these bike ins all through this round. And here, I'm adding my last four mm bike in. And this is the look after adding the bike ins. And now stepping up into the first bike in, I'm picking up one. 11 or silver and i'll be passing through this next 4 mm bike in. again picking a one 11 or silver and pass through the next 4 mm bike in. and in this round we are going to add these 11 or silver in between in between the bike ins. like this and i would be doing this all through this round now after adding these 11 o's, 11 o's silver in between the bike and this is the look. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to pass through all these 11 o's and the bike ends once again just to reinforce and get a nice shape of our chumka. So for this, as you can see right now I'm exiting through the bike end. I'm passing through the 11 o, the bike end. Mm -hmm. And here again we have to keep mm -hmm. our thread nice and mm -hmm. tight. And now I'll be passing through all these beads and come back. You can see how nice it looks from the bottom. It has taken a nice round shape. And now, after passing through all these beads, right now I'm exiting through this 4mm bike. And now, after exiting through this bike, and I'm stepping up into this 15 o into the 11 o 15 o 11 o and into the next 15 o so here you can see this and now after exiting through this 15 o i'm picking up one round tail and i'm passing through this next 15 o and again i'm picking up one round tail and passing through the next 15 o and in this round we are going to add the round tails in between these 15 o's like this and i would be adding these rondelles all through this round and come back and now here i'm adding my last rondelle and this is the look after adding the rondelles and now i'm stepping up into the first rondelle like this and now I'm going to pick up one 15 or silver and pass through the next round tail. Again, picking up one 15 or silver and I'm passing through this next round tail. Again, picking up one 15 or silver and passing through the next round tail. And this way, I'm going to add these 15 or silver all through this round. Here I'm adding my last 15 of silver and I have stepped up into the first 15 of silver like this and this is the look after adding all these 15 of and now as I'm exiting through this 15 of silver I'm going to pick up one 11 of fuchsia one 15 of silver and one 11 of fuchsia these three beads and I'm going back into the same 15 o silver, making a right angle stitch over here on the top. Now into the round tail and into the next 15 o silver. Now I'm going to pick up only one 11 o fuchsia and one 15 o silver. Two, two beads. And I'm passing through this 11 o that I added. To the first one first 15 so here now i have three 
and the fourth one is at the bottom. So here is my right angle stitch. And now I'm moving into the next round tail and the 15 o like this. Now after exiting through this 15 o once again I'm going to pick up one 11 o silver, sorry, one 11 o fuchsia and one 15 o silver. Now going back into this 11 o fuchsia like this into the 15 o underneath. So this is our right angle stitch into the round tail and into the next 15. Again, going to pick up one 11 o fuchsia and one 15 o silver and pass through this 11 o fuchsia. So this is the right angle stitch and into the 15 o round tail and the next 15. So this way we are going to add these beads on the top of the round tails all through this round. Now here I have reached the last 15 and for this right angle stitch we already have one two three beads so I'm stepping up into the 11 and I'm going to pick up only one 15 and going down into this 11 from this last component down into the 15 like this once again moving up into the 11 just to reinforce and this is the loop and now after stepping up into the 11 I'm stepping up into this 15 o silver. So this is the look of our chumka. Now again I'm picking up one 15 o silver and I will pass through the next two 15 o silver together like this. Again picking up one 15 o silver. I'm passing through the next two 15 o silver together. Again, picking up one 15 o silver. I'm passing through the next two 15 o silver together. Again, picking up one 15 o silver. I'm passing through the next two 15 o silver together. And, and now adding my last 15 o silver. And passing through this pair of 15 o's together. So after completing this round, this is the look, and now I'm stepping up into the first 15 o silver that I added in this round, and now I'm picking up one 11 o fuchsia, and I will pass through the 15 o that I added in the last round. Again, picking up one 11 o fuchsia. And pass through the 15 o added in the last round again picking up one 11 o fuchsia pass through the 11 o sorry the 15 o again picking up one 11 o fuchsia and pass through the 15 o added in the last round and here this is my last 11 o and I'm passing through this first 15 o and stepping up into the 11 o. So here you can see this is the look. And now I'm going to pass through all these five 11 o's together. And we are going to close our chunga here like this just keep your thread nice and tight here so that we can get a nice stiff beautiful looking chumka and after taking about three to four passes i'm tying a knot 
in between here, the S11 O's, and into the two 11 O's. Now I'm going to move down into the 15 O's, into the 11 O, into the 15 O. And the round in and into this fifteen o underneath and into the eleven o and just cut the three top. So here is our chumka and now we are going to attach our chumka and ear post stud to our hoop. So here we have our three components, our chumka, our hoop and the ear stud and now we are going to attach the two components to this hoop. So now you can see that right now I'm exiting through this spike gun and now I'm going to pick up the seven beads 115 or silver, 1 3 mm pearl or 3 mm fire polish bead, 115 or silver, 111 or fuchsia, 115 or silver, 1 3 mm bead, and 115 or silver. And I'm going to go back into the same spike gun like this. So this way, we are going to attach these beads. Now, moving up into the 15 o 3 mm bead, 15 o and into the 11 o fuchsia, like this. Pick up 115 o silver, 1 3 mm bead, and now, the chumka after picking up 115 o silver and 3 mm bead we are going down into the chumka like this and into this chumka we are going to add one 3 mm bead one 11 o silver one 3 mm bead one 11 o silver like this, bring them down, these four beads, and now pick up four 15 or silver and our bralet into the bralet. Again, pick up four 15 or silver. And now, bring these beads down. We are going back into the 11 o, 3 mm bead, 11 o, and 3 mm bead. Like this. Very gently. And into the chumka. Like this. Pull it up. After adding this bralette, just keep it little loose and then after coming out through this chumka, we are going back into the 3 mm bead like this. Pick up 115 o silver and into the 11 o fuchsia. like this just keep it that loose so that it doesn't get tilted like this into the 15 o 3 mm bead and the 15 o like this and into the 4 mm bike So 
And here you can see we have added our chunker to our hoop. And now we will move up to add our ear stud. Now you can see that we added the chunker to this one. Now I'm going to pass through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight icons to reach the top of this hoop. So here passing through my first picon, the second one, into the third one. Very gently. Into the fourth icon, fifth icon. Sixth icon. Seventh icon. And eighth icon. Now, after passing through these eight icons, now we are going to add the ear poster to this ninth one. Because you know we had added 18 bikers, so we added this chumka to this one. On this side also, we would be having eight bikers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are the two bikers at the center, at the bottom, and at the top. So here I'm going to pick up two 11 or silver and my ear poster and I'm going to pass through this 11 of fuchsia like this. Again picking up two 11 of silver I will be going back into the pikon like this. Now going back into these beads once again just to reinforce and into the bikon again moving up to the eleven o's and the eleven of fuchsia and the eleven of silver like this into these 15 o's and into the 11 o silver and now here into those 15 o's And now I'm going to tie a knot in between these 15 O's. Into these two 15 O's. 11 O's. into the 15 o's and now we are going to cut the thread off so friends here we have completed our hoop chumka in fuchsia color you can see it would look very very beautiful with your traditional dresses and of course with your western wears 
and let us take a quick look on other colorways that I have shown you in the beginning of the video. This is in amethyst and emerald green color. The other one that I have shown you was in this green and maroon color. And one more in this beautiful peridot green color. So these are some of the colorways that I have made in this hoop chumka. And you can see that I have shown you two uh, styles. One in uh, different shades of green and pink as I have done here. Here I have made this in shades of green. And this one in shades of pink. And the two ways I have shown you how you can make them in contrast. So you can make them in either ways. It would look very beautiful. And I hope you would love making these beautiful hoop chumka. And of course, gifting these to your friends and family. So friends, if you like my designs and my tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I upload my next video. Thank you.